The Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters has been around for over 80 years and has come a long way from its early roots in the 1920s to become one of the country's largest non-profit, non-government conservation organizations. Over the years, a strong message has been delivered and several internationally recognized milestones achieved. Today, the OFAH is stronger than ever and is supported by over 85,000 paying members. To come this far and become this successful, an organization needs to have strong leadership. And for the last quarter century, Mike Reeder was a key component in the success of the efforts of the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters. I hope you have a drink, me. We still got an hour or so left. <laughs> Hey, there's a the fish. <laughs> Nicely done, Mike. This country was built on fishing, hunting, and trapping. I don't forget where I came from, and I still remember the days where I had to book what little vacation time I had to go on deer hunts and fishing trips with my friends. And it reminds me of how important this is to me. Fortunately, I've been able to make a living in the outdoors and have gained invaluable knowledge. And I'm gonna share my successes and failures with you. Oh, watch out. Whether you're urban or rural, fish or hunt, you should support sound wildlife management. I am proud to say that I am an angler and hunter. The Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters presents Angler and Hunter Television. Brought to you by Canadian Tire, a proud partner of Angler and Hunter Television. Mercury Marine, number one on the water. Winchester Ammunition, an American legend. Browning Firearms, the best there is. Shimano, technology you can feel. Yamaha ATVs, what kind of Yamaha are you? And Lund Boats, the ultimate fishing experience. Yours is bigger. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, here comes fish. Recently, we invited other outboard owners to look deeper into Mercury Verado. The mid-range throttle response is amazing. Got a lot of power for low RPM. Whoa. I can't get over the, the, the power that it has, how quickly it accelerates. The torque is unbelievable. Verado is up to 13% quicker than other four-strokes. Visit MercuryMarine.com to see more ways Verado beats the competition. Mercury Marine, look deeper. Feel that bad boy? It's not about the shot itself. It's about all that came before it. A company that's given back to conservation so that the tradition of hunting will continue. A leader in innovation since its founding. It's the legendary excellence you've come to expect. You've got that history in your hands. Now it's about settling the crosshairs, focusing on that moment in time, and one legendary trigger pull that changes you. Winchester, the American legend. Presents fight I think I speak for fight fans everywhere when I say we saw one of the most insane fights in all of mixed martial arts history here tonight. You said it, Greg. The defending lightweight world champion Frankie the Butcher Nelson taking on the Baltea's fishing rod by Shimano, one of the craziest fights I've ever seen. Is that jujitsu? <laughs> Muay Thai? I don't know what to call it. I call it crazy. We'll definitely be seeing more of the Volteas in future fights to come. Volteas, the next level of tough. A priceless experience on the water. That's the Muntai. Fishermen and families everywhere are raving about the all-new Luntai. Celebrating 60 years. Since 1948, Lund, the ultimate fishing experience. Closed captioning of Angler and Hunter Television is provided by Ontario Out of Doors Magazine.
Although I am only in my first season with AHTV, I have had an opportunity to work with Mike very closely and gain an instant respect for him from our very first meeting. Today, I'll be walking in the field in search of pheasants and joined by Mike, as well as the incoming executive director, Angelo Lombardo. I got no backup. She got a bird going, Mike. She was she was on point, and yeah. then uh, they run out on her. Well, she'll find her. Oh yeah. Ah! It's a chooker. <laughs> What's the matter with you guys? <laughs> I saw the wadding bounce off it. I think the wadding knocked it out. Oh, I think he scared it to death. I don't think he hit it. <laughs> he just didn't know it got hit. Sit. So is this going to be like come like a golf game for you, a routine for you once you retire? Once a week. Once a week, come out here? Once a week. Yeah. You're yeah. going to need to be firing the barrel. And maybe twice water. a week if I get invited. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully I, I can go none for none. I should have put my turkey choke in for that one. All right. That that was a that that's about as close to horrible as you could possibly get. <laughs> go go. No more messing around. Where do you go? Bird must be on the run. Nice point, eh? Look at that shot. Look at that dog. Stay. 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 Whoa! That was a hit. Come. Come. Good girl. Over here. Come. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Nice shot, Mike. Pressure's off now, buddy. <laughs> you guys can have the rest. I gotta go in. <laughs> so, Mike, we got one bird for sure. That, that's that yours. And then we got one, maybe, which Borderline. is Angelo's. Maybe. We're gonna have to check it. I picked some of that up through my Hunter Ed stuff, but okay. I hope you guys can do a better job with deer than you can with pheasants. Where's the deer <laughs> coming out? <laughs> <laughs> you guys just need that bigger target. Yeah, you guys just is. need the bigger targets. That's what's happening. Gear up with Canadian Tire. Hey, when you're hunting game birds, it's important to make sure that others can see you and that you're comfortable. The Yukon Gear Deluxe Blaze Vest is the perfect solution. It has big pockets and a game bag on the back, which is a necessity for pheasant hunting to keep your hands free and your birds with you. To see more ways to make pheasant hunting easy, visit your local Canadian Tire store or check out canadiantire.ca. Coming up, more great hunting. I guess my first Yamaha was uh, 1986, and uh, after that it was Yamaha, Yamaha to uh, no end. When I look at uh, timber property that I'm going to buy or, or, or be harvesting, you need a good reliable machine to get you through the swamps. Pretty rough going some places. Different people have asked me about, you know, why I buy Yamaha. I keep buying them because of the reliability and the product that they make is just uh, what we want. I'm Barry Elmhurst, owner and operator of BW Forest Products, and this is my Yamaha. Folks, I'm Dan Wallace, and I make my living in the backwoods. And people ask me, why do you use a recurve limb crossbow? Better question is, why would you use compound? Look, I'm tough on equipment, and I need a crossbow as tough and reliable as my four-wheel drive. If I happen to drop it out of a tree, or accidentally dry fire, or run over it with your pickup truck, try that with a compound crossbow, and you'll be the proud owner of a hundred little parts. So do yourself a favor and pick up an Excalibur, and find out why they're the four-wheel drive of crossbows. They're up there, you know. I've been to the ship. I've seen things. I've smelled things. Look, I'm trying to forge here. They fool you with the smell. They got me. But I escaped here yeah, from the loony bin. The scent was like a blood trail, but it's deception. Get away from me. Beware, my friend. Trust no one. Trust no one. So you've been with the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters for 25 years. What did you start out doing there? I started out doing special events and fundraising. We were actually raising money for reintroducing wild turkey. 
And it was Rick Amsbury at the time uh, who actually asked me uh, to chair a dinner to raise uh, funds for Wild Turkey in Peterborough. So I chaired that uh, dinner for a couple of years. I actually co-chaired with Michael Dumas one year, the, uh, the world artist. Uh, wildlife artist. And uh, it was out of that that was born uh, an opportunity to work for the OFH through discussions with Rick. And um, so it was in 1987. I started on uh, August the 2nd. And um, it was great. Uh, didn't think I'd be there this long, but hey, time flies when you're having fun. You took over for Rick Morgan? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, about, uh, what, 2001? Yeah, 2001. And basically, he just said, here's the portfolio, go for it? Or did you have some stuff in mind? That, uh... Well, I think you always have things in mind that you'd like to do with an organization, but you need to be respectful of the person that's had the position for that length of time that Rick had and the tremendous job that Rick did with the organization. Uh, but Rick, likely, if you asked him, as I am today, are a little tired, a little beat up, and uh, know when it's time to move on, as I think it was uh, Winston Churchill who said, better to retire a year too early than a day too late. Now... Hey. They laid an egg. Goodbye. Fly in the air. Oh, I don't want to shoot Watch over the, the dog. dog like that. Yeah. That bird just uh, just just flew above the dog's head. Yeah, it's never worth. I mean, although you know you want to take that shot or you're eager to shoot at a bird, it's not worth. You to, can't. It's you just not can't worth shoot. Doing that. And that's what we learn in hunter education, eh? Exactly. What's your safest shot and what you just can't take. The shot you can't take. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to take the low road. Move up, Angelo. Take it. Oh, there! There! Oh, no! <laughs> that dog should be playing baseball. That was a ground Come. ball. Inka. Boy, those birds aren't going high, those are they? They're just up and just low to the ground. Laying out. That's a challenging because shot. No, because it's wet. Yeah. No, he, he, look, look what he got. Yeah. It. Broke a wing. Where's this dog? The dog's pointing. Whoa. Mike, why don't you come up here, buddy? Yeah, I saw it. OK. It's just got its head tucked. Good word. Hey! Yeah! Simultaneous <laughs> lunch. So I'm are you about? About? Did you shoot? Yeah. You didn't shoot. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to do it, right there. Oh, perfect. I'm bar I was ready to back clean up there, boys. Good girl. Yay! Come, I'm bar Yay, she's even wagging her tail. She's happy that she's happy that you guys got us. It, good girl. It's amazing to watch these dogs at work and see the efforts of Mike's skilled training. It makes working with these animals an awesome experience. Pine Ridge is open year round, so if you're looking to sharpen your wing shooting skills or just want to plan a corporate function, I suggest you look them up. So Rose uh, cooked us up quite a lunch there, buddy. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, well, we have to obviously walk it off, but so you've brought, uh, you brought Rose out with us to run run her dog. That's correct. And it's a black poodle pointer, is that common? It's it's rare. We have, uh, the poodle pointers only come in two colors. That's either all brown or all black. There's no, uh, no happy mediums like some of the other breeds where there's white and black uh, uh, in, in, in one dog. But they, it's either a, they're solid colors, so it's either solid brown or solid blacks. Now, anybody out there that's looking to get a poodle pointer, are you the only one in Ontario? Yes, I am. I'm the only breeder here in, on, uh, in Ontario. Um, there is a, only a handful of breeders uh, in North America. Come! Oh. Come! Oh, she's going for that one that went in the... Oh, they're running. Yeah, they are now. Yay! Another double. Good. Another double. Can we do that again? Yeah. <laughs> you guys are going to stop moving like this. <laughs> are you kidding me? No, you're not. You guys are going to stop moving like this. 
Oh. Mickey, come. Come. That Did... bird flew the right way this time. Yeah. Good shot. Gulf Alive presents The Fishing Edge. Got him. Oh, yeah. In order to get the edge over fish, you need to make sure you're using tackle designed for the specific species you're after. Berkeley soft baits are designed for the sole purpose of helping you catch more fish. They offer a wide variety of highly effective choices, from pro-designed bass baits all the way to scientifically engineered baits with scent and flavor technology that encourages fish to strike and hold on longer. Catfish anglers will love Berkeley dough baits, which are formulated in a lab and field tested. Berkeley Powerbait and Gulp dough baits are convenient to use and extremely effective. Catfish dough is the most effective scent ever developed for catfish. Preformed into optimal nuggets, making it easy to rig on treble or other catfish style hooks. To see more ways to get the edge, check out berkeley-fishing.com. Coming up, more great hunting. More than a century ago, Browning introduced the auto-loading shotgun to the world. Today's Browning Silver continues that tradition with greater reliability, softer felt recoil, better handling, and more features than ever before. The Browning Silver, the auto-loading shotgun that does it all. Browning, the best there is. Think GPS is just for getting you to the lake? Think again. The new iPilot wireless GPS trolling system can hold your boat in place like an electronic anchor. Record and retrace productive fishing paths, automatically keep you on any bearing you choose, and take total command of speed and steering. iPilot controls your boat with wireless GPS precision so you can focus on fishing. And it's only from Minn Kota. Fish are gonna need a new place to hide. Exclusive side imaging from Humminbird. Scan more water faster with 480 feet of side-to-side -side coverage and see structure detail with amazing picture-like images. Humminbird, simply, clearly, better. A new age of modern scope technology has arrived. Burris Optics presents The Eliminator. The Eliminator incorporates laser range finding technology with automatic bullet drop compensation calibrated to your rifle and bullet combination. Burris Optics, leading the way in modern scope technology. Burris's new Eliminator rifle scope, changing rifle scopes forever. Just range them and eliminate them. If your passion is hunting and fishing, get ready to catch this incredible membership offer from fine sponsors of the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters. Join right now and receive all these great products, including a Shimano reel, the Shimano Sienna 2500, a buck knife, the Silver Creek Fishing Fillet Knife made by Buck Knives, a Coast LED flashlight, a Strike King spinner bait, a Fox 40 whistle, Berkeley Gulp, Berkeley Power Bait, and Berkeley Trilene. Three packages of Fish Crisp Original and a special Fish Flage Edition Plano soft cider tackle bag with three Plano stowaway tackle containers. Plus, when you join, you get Ontario Out of Doors magazine, 10 action-packed issues a year, including the fishing and hunting annuals. This special OFAH membership package is a $260 value for only $72.95. Stand up for conservation and show how much you really care about your passion for fishing and hunting with a membership in the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters. Call and join today. Excalibur Crossbow presents The Hunting Edge. Bow hunting has to be one of the most exciting ways to get up close and personal with wild game, and Excalibur Crossbows wants you to have the edge on your next outing. Getting game in close enough for a shot is a real challenge. Often animals will hang up just out of range. Subtle calls often work, but when you really have to pull out all the stops, I suggest you fool them with a decoy. Placing a decoy just inside your maximum distance will often draw a game that few meters closer to give you the shot you need. Try adding scent to deer decoys to up your odds even further. 
faking out game is a fun way to get the edge and get some shots that would otherwise be impossible. Stay. Stay. You got her? Okay, you're over here. Who's gonna shoot it? Stay. Whoever it needs to. Come on up beside the tree Mike, there, Mike. I don't want to, okay. Stay. Ah! Bingo! Yay! I just need a little Stay. bit of lunch Stay. in me. Another double bike. <laughs> During his tenure as executive director of the OFAH, Mike has overseen countless ventures and attained some very distinguishable milestones. Sunday gun hunting was introduced to several wildlife management units, offering more hunting opportunities for Ontario's public. A lot of people didn't think it would ever happen. And you know, quite frankly, I was sort of getting to that point in time where I thought, you know, how many times are we going to continue to raise this with a minister right. and get an absolute flat out no? I have to give a lot of credit to the staff and the minister of the day, David Ramsey. And recently saw the finishing touches on the Mario Cordellucci Hunting and Fishing Heritage Centre. It is a wonderful facility, a marvelous facility. We've, we've, we've watched it, we've babied it, we've uh, seen it under construction for two and a half years. I've seen our staff, and a big thank you to them, toil, labor many, many hours to get this facility done. He was also responsible for the acquisition of Ontario Outdoors magazine, Ontario's successful elk reintroduction program, and the return of Atlantic salmon to Lake Ontario. Mike was at the helm of a 15-year crusade to see the federal long gun registry killed, and this year, on the eve of its retirement, the final bill was passed to scrap the registry. But what it means is, from this point forward, a licensed firearm will not have to uh, have their guns registered. So what we were able to make sure when we were working with the federal government on this piece of legislation that would scrap the long gun registry after all these years is that also the records will be destroyed. Uh, obviously, any government could have got rid of the registry, but what happens with the records? Right. And you've heard some of that rhetoric uh, back and forth about other problems is wanting to start their registry. Quite frankly, if they didn't get rid of the records, there's a registry somewhere. So we're really pleased with that outcome. Uh, it's one of those things, again, the OFH never gave up on. We never gave in. We never said, you know what, let's not, let's not continue to work at this and, and peck away at it and get the right government in at the right time. And Mike and Angie will recall that uh, uh, Prime Minister Harper, who was opposition leader at the time, spoke at our annual conference and he said, if they form the government, they will abolish the long gun registry. And he and the government keeping the word. While we clean up the mess left by our predecessors, we have extended, as you know, the amnesty for long gun owners who have yet to register. And we are looking to unite a majority of MPs in repealing the long gun registry. We talked about that in our round table earlier. The leaders of the opposition parties continue to be against this, but there are MPs in all these parties who know what we know, that law-abiding hunters and farmers are not part of the crime problem and that you should be respected, not demonized. So I challenge you to press these MPs to follow their consciences and do what they know is right. Vote to abolish the long gun registry and fight crime instead. And all of us, the fish and hunt uh, in the province of Ontario should uh, uh, applaud uh, Prime Minister Harper for his efforts. He, he stood true to his word and uh, he did what he said uh, he and his government were going to. Look at this. Look at that. That's a great shot there. Two Come dogs. Here, Mike. Same time. Whoa. Whoa. You whoa. Huh? Uh -oh. Whoa. Huh? Whoa. Shoot it, shoot it. Yahtzee. Double. <laughs> Yay. I'll give you that one. <laughs> Double. I think he hit that one. Venture, come. Mickey, come. That was good. That was great. That was great. Did you point it? Yeah. Stay. Nope. Right. Oh, Mike, Ange just made a beautiful shot on a bird. I saw Good feathers. shot, Ange. I saw feathers flying. You got some shooting in? You know, Rose's uh, dog was on point. I think I have the prettiest shot of the day. Not figures, eh? <laughs> Angelo Lombardo has a long history with the off age and an excellent background in the industry, having been an integral part of the marine industry with Lund Boats and Brunswick Marine. 
I was hired by Mike um, to uh, work in the special events department. At the time we had a, a very large uh, conservation dinner program where we traveled around the province and we hosted fundraising dinners, uh, raising funds for both provincial uh, and uh, local conservation pro uh, projects. Uh, in 1999 I uh, left the OFH and joined Lambeau Company and I was uh, lucky enough to uh, be chosen uh, back uh, October of uh, 2010 um, to rejoin the OFH as executive manager and uh, working very closely with Mike uh, during the course of the last uh, 14 months or so to, uh, to take over when he retires and uh, become uh, the OFH's next executive director. So I'm like, really, really excited. Like you and I, Ange is an avid angler and hunter, so we can be reassured that the future is bright for the OFH and that more great accomplishments and milestones are just over the horizon. Since I've joined the OFH, I've never, I didn't realize how much uh, of a family it is. I mean, all the employees there, even some of the members, I mean, they're taking part in, in Movember, for instance. It's mm -hmm. a perfect example of how everybody gets together and raises funds for not only conservation, but, but things like, you know, prostate cancer. Well, Mike's, uh, as, as we all know, Mike was uh, diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer, uh, went through the surgery and is doing uh, extremely well, but he really has been a spokesman. Uh, and, and we're all very, very um, proud of uh, Mike and the approach he's taken to uh, something that, uh, uh, for, the, for the most part, was, was you know, um, a huge blow. Um, but Mike has turned it into a positive. Uh, he has uh, recovered nicely. He uh, he's continues uh, to work as, as hard as he ever has um, to, to drive the OFH forward, but at the same time, he's uh, delivered the message that uh, prostate cancer can be beaten. What a great day. Plenty of action, some fantastic camaraderie, and of course, some good laughs. Let's all wish Mike the best and thank him for all he has done to improve our hunting and fishing heritage. Here's hoping he gets to spend his retirement doing more of what we all love to do so much, hunting and fishing. If you were walking away and you had one last comment to make to somebody before you, you turned around and, and you were gone, what would you, what message could you deliver maybe to the, to the members out there? Pretty simple. Take somebody fishing and hunting. A family member, uh, somebody new in your neighborhood that you know that would love to try it. Uh, a friend of a son or a daughter who's never fished before, get somebody out and have them enjoy fishing and hunting. Angler and Hunter Television was brought to you by Canadian Tire, proud sponsor of Angler and Hunter Television. Mercury Marine, number one on the water. Winchester Ammunition, an American legend. Browning Firearms, the best there is. Shimano, technology you can feel. Yamaha ATVs, what kind of Yamaha are you? And Lund Boats, the ultimate fishing experience. Looking for more information on today's show or past episodes? Visit www.ahtv.com. Whether it's watching a fishing or hunting edge online, or looking for other great sites of the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters, be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Visit www.ahtv.com. See you next week, and remember to conserve and protect our great outdoors.